My eyes are puffy? The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> hey girl gang, what up everybody? It is so good to see you guys. Thank you so much for being here. It's Thursday. We're very, very close to Friday. Listen, listen, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title and blah, 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 we are here gathered today to talk about and watch together the deleted stream from just earlier today called You Have Two Supporters. <laughs> but before we get into the deleted, our girl is crying. So how about, you know, we're going to take a little dip in. Uh, I've gone back a little bit. We'll speed her up. We're going to watch it together. Okay. We'll get through all of this. And uh, when it's no longer fun, we will dip out and we will get into the deleted. Okay. So let's start with the little dip in. Hold on. Let me get the tab. Like, I don't come for these people. They come for me. I'm defending myself right now. What the fuck? What's the problem? It's fair game, right? You handled that well instead of ghosting, dude. You said you were not up to it. No, I'm being honest about my feelings always. Like, if you piss me off, I don't like you. And I even put on my dating profile. I'm picky. Good luck. I'm not. I'm sorry. Why? Because I have a bit of extra weight. I don't deserve to be treated nice. Or I don't deserve to be treated like a queen. No, you're not. I'm not taking men's shit anymore. Fuck that. Never. I will fucking masturbate every day. I don't care. I will fucking do what I got to do. There's um, how many men are in the world? Does somebody know the figure? Like, seriously, half the world fucking men, let's say. So that's what? Billions of men. And I'm going to dope on somebody who doesn't treat me nice. I don't think so. No, no, no. The only person I have in this life right now is me. Me. So this is all about me. This is me. And yes, I want to treat people very nice. Oh, God. If you made a, 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 a... No, you can't even say that on YouTube. A game out of every time she touches that wig in this stream, you'd be wrecked in like five seconds. Really, Colleen? Hi, damn it, Amber. I forgot to say hi to you. I was too busy raging. Like... And I know all this raging does is just destroy me more, and I don't care right now. Like, I just don't. Like, I'm just... What can I do if I don't care, you know? Yeah. Anyway. I can't wait for everyone to get their karma. What am I going to get karma for? I hear people say that right back to me. What am I going to get karma for? Who did I do anything bad to? Meds work on see a psychiatrist. Yeah, we're not going to start that whole list tonight, girl. You're already living your karma. How's that? Moto Goth, thank you for the super chat. Like when they've been abused for a year? I don't know. Like or Or when they have 20 reaction channels making up lies and being a fucking asshole? I don't know. Like, is that like, I don't know. <laughs> Am I supposed to be more mentally stable, I guess? And maybe a fucking pill would fix that? I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Hello, Emerald. When I was heavy, I was treated like I was invisible. Well, I'm going to be very visible. And everyone who hates me because I'm fat and are fat phobic, stay mad. 
Hi, Trigger Andy. Oh, God. She's such an asshole. You know, she'll always be an asshole for as long as she keeps saying things like everybody only hates her because she's fat or thinking it has anything at all to do with her weight. It's all to do with who you are, Chantal, not how much you weigh. You're an asshole. But the fact that like you'll never see that about yourself you refuse to even acknowledge that about yourself so it's easier for you to just keep saying they hate me because i'm fat ah <laughs> so i'm just gonna wait for my paneer eat my paneer eat my edible bees for a while go play mario go to bed i don't care anymore if your feelings are valid why does what you weigh matters it doesn't it doesn't matter <laughs> People who think it matters are sad and hate themselves. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Aisha. And I don't have time for people who don't want to support me either. If you don't want to support me, then don't be here. Or else, if you, I mean, just shut up because I will block you. I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the same people, like immature, fucking in their 20s, attacking my fucking beezers. No, it's not going to fly. Thank you, Keelan. Sounds like a good time to me. Oh, she's Mario. really, really yes, pissed Mario. tonight. Oh, yeah. Yay. <laughs> oh, my God. I just feel so, I don't know. I don't know what I want. Like, uh, I just didn't even want to see him, and I feel bad. And now he's not answering me back because I was like, I was like, I'm in a bad mood, honestly. And he's like, why? I'm like, I just have my reasons. I just feel even too fucked up. Like, how am I gonna let this fucking shit even affect my fucking dating? No, that's why I'm mad. I'm mad at myself for letting myself get triggered again. <laughs> so hard. Oh just, my god! <laughs> no. The hand, oh, with the hand on the head. Oh, girl, take the fucking wig off. Stop eye fucking yourself. She, this is so dramatic. She did with the hand on the head, and then she swooped the hair and looked at herself in the camera. Chantal. BBJ knew they were sleeping together. Thank you for the super chat. A lot of things. I keep getting re-triggered by everything. Just everything, you know? And then I have people... I'm just like attacking every fucking thing I do. Like every uh, <laughs> Go to fucking therapy. Stop crying about it on the internet with your fucking wig on and your makeup done. This is so badly dramatic, Chantal. Sent me like a candy and flowers emoji. Oh. I keep getting re-triggered. Ah, I keep watching them. I talk about them all day long. I'm fucking obsessed, but somehow I keep getting re-triggered. <laughs> Don't watch the channel. It's hard to avoid them, you know? And like, yeah, my glasses I was watching. Why is that? Like, obviously I was watching them today and I know I shouldn't, but like, it makes me so mad that he's so, so, so smug and like, they don't reap any consequences of any of their actions. And he's just... <sighs> that was the funniest thing all day. Oh my God. Yabba put on Twitter. Uh, it was Ch Chantal, a picture of Chantal with her stupid sunglasses on right? Posing for the camera. But if you zoomed in on the lens of the glasses, you could see the reflection of her computer screen. She was watching Koki's channel. <laughs> She's so dumb. It was awesome. Linda, thank you so much for the super chat. Something for only. <laughs> thank you so much, girl. I'm not going to rage about the vet. It's a rage for another day, but holy shit. I am so mad at them. And you're well help. Yeah. There's this person. There's this person on Instagram. I've been blocking a lot of people on Instagram. People with eyebrows that look like this coming for me on Instagram? No, I don't think so. They are soulless. They are. The paneer will heal and bring you a little comfort. Hopefully, garlic nan is involved. I did order garlic naan and a root beer. Block them all. I did plain cheese. I plain cheese for here. They're hurting it in fear more than they let on. I know what that doesn't help, but they are. Oh, you do, do you? Look, it doesn't take much coaxing. Okay, I'll give you the story in under what, a minute? So everybody knows Ollie went to hospitalization 15 fucking days ago. One five. 15 days ago, Ollie was being hospitalized. And when Ollie came out of hospitalization, he had a list of nine medications that he now has to take. Fine. And and they gave me like these discharge papers and it told me what to do. And an appointment from one month 
uh, from then on the, the 22nd of the month, okay, uh, an appointment to be rechecked by a vet, like a follow-up. Fine. I called today to renew his fucking medications, and one of them, they tell me, oh, no, we can't renew it for you. There's no more renewals. And I go, well, how can that be? We've only been taking the medicine for 15 days. Oh, well, there's no renewals. We can't renew it for you. And I go, okay, well, I only have enough of it left for three days. So I'm going to need an appointment in the next three days. I get put on hold. She comes back to the phone and goes, sorry, we're all booked. We can't get you an appointment. Excuse me? Excuse me? You fucked up. You guys now fucked up. You either didn't give him enough renewals until the appointment that you guys made for him, or you should have made him an appointment for 15 days out and not 30 days out. Either way, it's you guys that fucked up. And now somehow in three days, I'm the one and the dog's the one who's fucked. So now tomorrow morning, they open at nine o'clock in the morning. I will be there. I will stay there all fucking day if I need to. Point is... Somebody will be seeing the dog tomorrow because I'm not leaving without an appointment or a handful of the medicine to last us until the appointment that we have. <laughs> I will not take no for an answer. I will literally stay there all day. And every person who comes into that vet is going to hear my story and hear how fucking negligent this piece of shit vet office has been for the past few months. I will wreck them tomorrow. So something tells me, me and my loud mouth, you guys kind of know the way my loud mouth works. Mm, they're going to want to hustle me out of there pretty, pretty quick tomorrow. <laughs> Back to the reaction. Yeah, that does help a little bit. I'm kidding. Once you heal mentally, you will be able to get your life back on track and you'll feel better. Yeah. You're like, how can I, like, I just, I, like, a part of me, I don't feel like I ever, like, even with this guy, he's so nice and he didn't deserve that, you know? And I was just mean because I fucking hate men now because of him. Like, I love them, but I hate them. I don't trust them. I don't trust anybody anymore. I feel anxiety. I don't know. Well, I don't trust anybody anymore. You literally met strangers off the internet since Koki and had them come and sleep over at the villa. That's sociopath shit. Who the fuck does that with strangers they don't even know? I don't trust anybody anymore. Shut up. Man, after that vet rage and now you feel my stress, right? The, the fucking stress that I'm under right now? Mm -hmm. uh, fuck you, Chantal, and all your stupid shit and all the makeup that you put on just to sit here tonight on the couch and fake cry for your fake beezers and get your little fake sympathy. I see you, you bitch. There are actual things going on in the world. I'm not saying Ollie's the biggest problem in the world, but Jesus Christ, bitch, that is a fucking stress. This dog situation, that's a fucking stress. A lot of people have a lot of fucking stress. And you are sitting there 16 months out, still pining and crying over a fucking crackhead. God damn it, Chantal, take that fucking wig off your head. It makes you look even stupider because it makes you look even more posed. You fake fucking bitch. Who's stream sniping? Should we put Monty Song on while he's stream sniping? Okay, let's watch his edging video. How about that? They don't want you to heal because then what will they do with their time? You will get through this one day at a time. Thank you, Aisha. And all of you who supported me through thick and thin and fucking 500 pounds, whatever, I won't forget you. Trust me. I won't forget you. Traveling in the worst country in Europe. Where's Monty's? Nick444, thank you so, so much for the super the chat. Was it Kate Winslet? Or, or did they did he strike that video? It was on the farms. Wait, where's my glasses? It takes time. Thank you, Chapro and Cherry. Always be there. Yes, plain cheese. I want to cry over Monty. I'm not crying over Monty, ew. But he's stream sniping, so I want to play his uh, edging video. Oh my god. Here okay, that, go. that's kind of funny. I've heard it too. Oh. There we go. Is Monty, is it on there or did he strike her? It's funny how you strike people, like, but you talk shit about people. Okay. I thought it was on her channel. Where's the Monty stuff? No, it's not. Whose channel was it on? <laughs> it's Julian. Thank you so, so much for the Super Jag girl. Oh, 
Oh, I really want my printer. Oh yeah, it's the farm, you're right. Oh, I can't play that video from the farm from here. Give me a minute. You're losing time, in fact. You you're losing, why don't you worry about your own fucking life? You don't know anything about this guy. Why are you worried about who I'm dating? You're obsessed with who I'm dating. You're fucking weird. Go predator, go be a predator to more te fucking teenage chicks online. Landing strip or peach fuzz? Landing strip or peach fuzz, predator, weirdo. Okay, let's take a turn for the crazy. Now what, I think she's she's watching Monty? Watching her. Why is he so, so he's like, he's like worried about, about this guy, analyzing this guy's job, like. <laughs> Why does it matter to you? Like, you're so fucking obsessed with my fucking life. All right, should we go forward then? Okay. Like, you're so, like, fucking obsessed. Like, no, it's because you're lying and we love to call out a liar. Are you kidding? Get the fuck over yourself. How's the edging going? How's the edging going? How's the edging going, the edging going loser? Loser. <laughs> Sorry, Bowser. Bye, Vegas doll. Weirdo. I'm so glad I love you. Loser. Peach fuzz or landing strip? Peach fuzz or landing strip, predator. Oh, I'm waiting to be exposed. Loser, peach fuzz or landing strip. Peach fuzz or landing strip, predator. Whoa. You are a predator. It's on the farms. Everyone go watch Monty on the farms. He's a fucking predator. And, and your songs suck. You're a fucking predator. Predator. He did some questionable things with teenage chicks. It's all on the farms. Kiwi Farms, Monty, Carrie Crooks. Hi. He did some questionable things with teenage chicks. It's all on the farms. Kiwi Farms, Monty, Oh wow, she's really pissed. Oh my god. Ma'am, you are exposed every single day on Twitter. I mean, you have right? Nothing. You're full of fucking hot air. Oh, yeah, yeah. 1027. Hater, I know. Thank you for the super sticker. Are. Loser. Loser. 10,000 subs. None of it thanks to you, you boring milk toast piece of shit. Go door to door and do more semen retention, selling you fucking moron. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Nancy, 500 pounds and still fucking better looking than you, asshole bitch. Whatever. The person who called me 500 pounds looked like this. Oh, door, door, door. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, Nancy, 500 pounds and still fucking better looking than you, asshole, bitch. Yeah, I, I, the person who called me 500 pounds looked like this. No, it's not going to be deleted. It's not going to be deleted. Uh-oh. It's not going to be deleted, huh? Bun Captor, thank you so much for the super chat. Have we put on Cuba Ring? Yes, no? Should we put your music on and bring up your Kiwi Farm spread? Yes, no? Yeah, let's review Cuba Ring's video. All right, that's what we're gonna do. All right, where's Monty's music? Okay, so he's putting Cuba Rage, so I'll change it. Is he stream sniping me actively? Let me know, because I'll put it back on. If he's ah, me, he's I'll gonna play the Cuba Rage. I love it. Remember, that was our tactic for so long. Whenever she was threatening to snipe me, I was like, I had Cuba Rage open, ready to go, to put it in her fucking face. I love that. Let me know, because I'll put it back on. If he stream sniping me actively, I'll be fine. No. Ooh. Oh, somebody sent me this thing. Coco this is Carrie, Monty. thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Thank you so, so much. I'm so excited to see it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, because yeah, that's, that's what you did. <laughs> yeah. You do it every day, though. Your whole channel's about me. Your whole channel's about me. Yeah. Stay ugly, Nancy. Stay ugly, Nancy. <laughs> ugly, bitch. Stay ugly. The woman who sits there calling everybody else ugly. Dismiss bitch. I'm My like, god, fucking want attention, loser. Monty is a manlet. Manlet Monty. Manlet Monty. Manlet Monty. Manlet. Hamlet, Chantal, Hamlet. Oh, somebody a manlet. Yeah. Stay ugly, Nancy. Stay ugly, Nancy. Ugly bitch. Stay ugly. Monty is a manlet. Manlet Monty. Oh, Chantal, Hamlet. Open Alicia thank you so so much crack noir i really appreciate it that was my plan if i couldn't get something by sunday because i have enough till sunday worst case i will go to the emergency vet with him worst <coughs> case like they can't just leave him hanging that's crazy this whole thing is so great i can't even believe this i don't know what to say <laughs> the way she just threw herself back like that. What the hell? What is this? She's just not going to do anything now? Let me skip ahead a little. What the hell?
What the hell? Okay, hold on. Technical problems, but I don't I don't think it's us. I think it might be her because she grabbed her phone. Hold on. Let me hit refresh on that tab. Let me see what happens. Hold on. Well, that's that's pretty wild. Pretty, pretty, pretty wild. Capricorn NJ, thank you so much for the super chat. The insanity arc. It definitely could be coming. <laughs> We've sort of been in it for, the, what, five years now? Uh, okay, hold on. Let me hit Oh, it's that back next. Fucking ad. Hold on. Mm. <laughs> oh. No, she's gone. Something. Her chat's even mentioning. All they're talking about is that she's gone. It's like just spinning, spinning. Okay. So, you know what we'll do? We'll take a, a break from this one. We will get into, let me close this tab. Wait, wait. Oh, so many tabs. All right. Let's, uh, we'll take a break. Whatever the hell she's doing. It ended? Oh. She deleted the video? Okay, well. She's striking. Oy. Uh, what a dick. Okay. She deleted it. All right. Well, whatever. Um, hold on. Let me just get caught back up on the chat. She's so pissed. But she's pissed at all the wrong people. I don't know why she's so mad at Monty, at the women, let's say, who go on Monty's panel and stuff. It's such, like, misdirected anger. She's mad at Koki. She's mad at Dee Dee. And for some reason, just taking it out on everybody else. Ay, ay, ay. And as remember yesterday, we were commenting the way she was like talking about uh, Koki and it sounded, you know, we were saying like, oh yeah, they've been talking. They've been talking. Things sounded like civil almost. She was being a little too nice in the things she was saying and stuff like that. Today, she's back to like raging about him, raging about Dee Dee. Mm. It's May's video trying to deflect. I didn't see May's video. Uh-oh, Hannah. Hey, Frenchie, guess what? What? She's, oh, no, she's back? Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Let me get that tab. Did she strike Monty? Did Monty's stream end? Oh, no. Monty's song? She gonna play Monty's song? Oh, she's such a moron. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me get the tab open. Can we play this shit or is it copyright? Hold on. This might be a whole ass thing now. Uh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Whatever. I'll clip this out if it's copyright. Hold on. Fast and bright. Let me wish Listen. hard on that rocket ship for mine. Min cell. He's oh, is there isn't? Okay, thanks, Exo Gamer Girl. Oh, yeah, I, I know this is Monty singing, but I don't know about, like, the music behind it. I don't freaking know. You think I need to be 5115? Hell yes! Long overdue, ma'am. What? Down under Pondu, thank you what? so much for the super chat. I'm glad you agree. I, I, I cannot figure they, they made a mistake. Fucking, I needed an appointment uh, in 15 days, not 30 door days. They fucked up. And now somehow it's my fault. <laughs> no. You need to be 5150, you weirdo. I got a lot of I'm telling you, I'm reading his fucking Kiwi Farms. He's weird. He was on a website like He's such a liar. He's been outed. I can't wait. 
Yeah. He only has 10,000 subscribers. He hopes to be a big reaction channel. Even he sounds like Sarah Jane when he sings. Hey, immature old bat. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here. Welcome to the girl gang. I'm going to come. Oh, no, I'm not because I can't. Hi, thank you, Ish Aisha. I look better than Nancy. Stay mad, Chinny. Look, even looking like this, Nancy, you know why you're all fucking mad at me? Because you look like tree ladies. And even with five chins, I still look better than you. And I still get more dick than all of you. And you're mad about it. You're paying you for it, ma'am. No one's impressed with what you, you pay do. for. You paid for Koki for a year, too. And ugh. if you're going to pay for it, like, come on. And let it at least be charming or good looking. I didn't delete it. I went to come back to it. I was looking on it. I left the chat, the stream, to check Instagram to see if somebody sent me this link. Thank you, by the way. I love you. And they sent me the link to the edging video, which I'm going to upload to. And, and then you better pray none of your videos are bullying and harassment. Uh, as opposed to this. What is this? Fuck. Gen T, thank you so much for the super chat. We just saw it. It's all good. But thanks for the info. That's his voice. You can tell. Then I'll pay the... True, they be you. So, you're my wish time true. Let's wish upon a star. Let's not say we did. You don't like being laughed at, Monty? Oh, well, maybe you shouldn't do it to other people. Imagine that. Yeah, imagine that. Such a sad loser. Anyways, you might stream snipe me now, but tomorrow you're going to get a fucking video series on the Beezer show. Oh, my God. Hey, why not? I'm tired of fucking coming up with my own content to make money off of. May as well do what the leeches do on my other channel. It's monetized. If it gets taken down, oh fucking well. But but wait, 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 but you don't come up with content. That's what everyone's been complaining about. What are you talking about? You come up with content. You sit on your filthy couch in your filthy home and stuff your face on the taxpayer's dime. Content? No, ma'am. You're totally immature old bat. Thank you again for the super chat. Monty, you're a chick, let alone no, because this panel all wants him, so I'm saying you're a hot chick. And all his panel are just a bunch of desperate, sad, hating losers. That's all they are. They talk about my sex life. Please react to his edging video. I, fuck, I have the link, but I, I, I need, like, I can't watch it from here because it's on a different website. Hell no. You edging have a computer upstairs and you've been paying for stream yards for months. Y'all, go upstairs. What are you waiting for? Let's do this thing. Come on. <laughs> Uh, I would rather be run over by a car. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Sounds like me when I was eight on a karaoke machine. What the fuck? Why do I have lipstick on my teeth? <sighs> Come on, figure it out. Okay. The person who sent it to me, can you not send it to somebody's reaction channel? And fucking, or some, send it to a YouTube channel or send it to me in like a file. I can put it, play it on YouTube. It has to be on YouTube. Does anyone know how? Oh, she's such a fucking, you have stream yards upstairs. You go open <laughs> any fucking website. What anyway, is she talking about? God, she's like, an idiot. The farms, there was like a lot of different stuff about I'm him. Boomer NASA and I know how to do this. And what, is what's there a way out? That that That's why I came on and freaked out. I already admitted that. Like, you act, these people think they're outing me. That's what's funny. Same thing with fucking Jennifer Corvina from The Well. They think they're outing me on stuff that I out myself every day because I'm not fake. Ah, Sex, Sex, Bees, I own Pondu. Thank you for the super chat. That would have been funny. Monty's song is what plays on repeat once you're blocked by Chantal and live in purgatory. <laughs> yeah, in Vegas stall. No, I'm sorry. She was starting to get on my nerves a bit. Like, I don't know, needy for attention, and then not just that, but, like, fucking, like, I'm sorry, like, what, saying that she likes Monty? And, like, I've seen some nasty shit she's Oh, know. shit, she, she blocked Vegas doll? Wow. Go be somewhere else. She's in Monty's chat looking for sympathy. There's another reason. She's another Sarah Jane. I can't stand these people. Fuck. Go cry. Hey, Badussy. But Dussies suck my burnt, drippy, moist peen. Thank you for the super chat, girl.
Monty is the worst. Why Vegas? All because no no integrity. Like I said, no integrity. Fake fucking supporter. As opposed to people like Sofa King and cheeseburgers. That's all integrity. That's no, but this is like ongoing comic book, you know. And okay, but that doesn't give you a right to like that has nothing to do with it. No. Sorry. You could be in a bad headspace, but don't take it out on me. Like Oh shit, it. really, eh? Yes. Vegas doll told her yesterday that her dad That's was so very funny. sick. And this bitch blocks her today. That's so cold. Wow. Who's an old supporter? Can you imagine someone says I wrote a song for you and then plays that? Jesus Christ. Every time he, you... Monty, every time you stream snipe me, I'm actively... I'm going to play your edge. I'm going to... I have the fucking edging video. The edging video. And I'm going to play it on repeat. Every time you do that, I'm going to stop what I'm doing and put your edging video on repeat. So, and then if you want to put my Cuba Rage on, I'll just stop your video and, and then I'll continue my live stream. And then whenever you stream snipe me again, I will put your edging video on. How do you like that? And I'm going to put as a background song, your seasons change video. <laughs> Not going to lie. That would be fucking hilarious. I will do it. Yeah, he can do it now for now, but I will get him tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I will prepare something. <clears throat> he said he was going to do a video on me and I was like, bro, you're psycho. He's a fucking predator weirdo. Ugh. And then you see the minute I look at, I go on there, all the people fucking desperate for attention. You're like evil black little fish in the water waiting for your fucking five minutes, popping your head out, hoping I'll notice you. She thinks everyone does this she for her, like, up like I was for Chantal to notice you. you. Everyone goes on Monty's panel so that Chantal will notice you. Oh, my God. So, so the king. king. Monty, you're always sniping Chantal. When exactly do you get some? Oh, right. Semen retention. <laughs> so fun. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know, Sofa. Don't worry. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him tomorrow. He's going to have a nice. I'm, I'm honestly going to do reactions on the Beezer show. Because it's monetized. Oh, Lisa, thank you for the super chat. That's interesting. Good point. Yeah. One of the best yeah, things in this scenario is Foodie has truly met her match with the both of them. For once, she isn't able to bully I someone did. into compliance like she has with <laughs> everyone else in her life. And yeah, that is the show. Yeah, you're so right. <laughs> okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, she's gonna play this again? Listen, really God, she's so boring. Oh, I don't want to hear this again. Oh my God. What, did you just hit puberty there? Those are seasons change. It's like he's going through puberty, <coughs> eternally going through puberty. His voice is like whiny, cracky. As the seasons change, throw Ha, Barnack, I don't want to hear this again, fuck. It's gonna be a no from me, dog. <laughs> oh my god, look! The computer gave up! Oh my god! <laughs> the computer's like, nah, no more of this shit. Me halfway. That's a 5.0. That's a 5.0? If that won't work, then baby, it won't go. I gave you those rings. No! Wait! Who just put that in the chat? Wait a minute! Wait! It's like the womp, womp, womp. <laughs> ah, fucking dead. <laughs> Your love won't change. That's right, because you don't give any, because you can't get any. <laughs> no. No. Whenever I take my edible, we need to watch this. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Please, I'm God, don't watch it again. Yeah, the James Charles thing. <laughs> this this person, person actually had the nerve to... This person makes fun of me now yeah. for eating, doing mukbangs. Wilhelmina, welcome back. Ready, set, rebies. Hi, Bridget. 
I'm really all, all I'm doing is giving it right. Sessie Wolf Cat, thank you so much it's for the I'm super doing, chat. It's all, all I'm, I'm fucking, fucking doing. doing. Everyone who's fucked me over is getting it today. If it's not messy, it's not good. If it's not messy, it's not good. Bottle of ranch, right and fucking left, right? And but you're making fun of me. Why do you eat like my grandfather? You eat? Do you have teeth? I don't get this. Oh, shut up, you, you like my girl! You don't have any back teeth, and you're talking about people with teeth? Please. Thank you for checking the You're welcome. Someone said he wrote the song for an underage girl. Ew. God, the secondhand <laughs> embarrassment today. Vengeance content. Clap back, sick beat. <laughs> My friends are messaging me. Who the fuck saying that? Ew, anyway, you're boring as fuck, so I'm going to turn you off. Which is also why you like you don't you've had two thousand subscribers since you started YouTube at the same time. No, yeah, everybody should start degrading yeah, so themselves on camera to get to ninety thousand dead subs. Wow! Who's upsetting my queen? So fat. I mentioned you earlier. I said, "Oh my god!" I saw <laughs> BBJ knew they were sleeping together. Thank you for the super chat. I don't know. I, maybe I'm sick. I suppose I'm sick. It's kind of fun to not be in, to, you know what I mean? Watching like a fly on the wall with you guys. Like she's not mad at me. She hasn't mentioned the elastic band lips. Nothing, nothing. We're just watching the ping pong back and forth. It's fun. Your comedy channel. Like we should react to his comedy channel. It's so bad. Did you, did he give up on that? It's not good. He's just trying to throw out any, these people have no personality and no, they can't be content creators. So what they do is they just desperately, they get a little bit of attention and it fucks them up. And then they try anything they can to, to, to make a name for themselves. So they throw anything at the wall to see if it sticks. Basically, it doesn't even fucking matter what it is, you know? So it's like, <laughs> you're so pathetic. He was being serious. That's what makes it hilariously cringy. You can tell he was being serious. Silly, happy oh, birthday, right. girl. I hope you had a great day you know so what? far. Right. I, I should diss this every... Day. I can write sick beats that make people laugh, sort of, because they're bad. But maybe I can make you guys laugh by fucking give, doing a diss track to, like, everybody. Every one of those. Oh, my God. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Please do it. Start it with him. <laughs> Right, Black Zillion. <laughs> Tabarnak, not the fupa. Thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Running, 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 running my mouth today, anyways. Dance, dance. Do a rap bridge. <laughs> You're quick with words. Uh, a little slow these days. Someone told me that you love me. Come on, baby, come and show me. I'm so broken and lonely. Oh, God. Ma'am, you can't sing either. You're talking mad shit about uh, Monty singing. So Fine, but whoever told you you can sing yeah. didn't do you any favors. Ugh. Put it that way, okay? I swear to God, if we don't get a dinner bees, I was... <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, a dinner bees? Please? The track Manlet. <laughs> Manlet. Yes. Pizza's freaking <laughs> Everyone's freaking out today. Is it a full moon? <clears throat> I feel so bad. I canceled my fucking date. Just feel like I don't deserve that kind of life, maybe. Oh, she's going right back into like pity me, whining and stuff. Oh, fuck off! Come on. It's sabotage. It's like things are just going too perfectly, and it's just feeling weird, you know. Things are going so perfectly with my made-up man, who, if he's not made up, is clearly married and will only bone me in a hotel. Leaves me hanging. Is now not answering me back. Things are just going so perfect. I sabotage. 
Um, I'm mentally fucked up right now. So. <laughs> she forgot all about it. Moon, moon face Pondu, thank you for the super chat. You're going to go through a mix of emotions. Don't give away your power to what you've experienced. Don't give away your power to what you experienced. I love that. Thank you. Dan said you could ride this all the way to the top. <laughs> oh, I thought you said Dan said I could ride him all the way to the top. Dang. Hey, y'all. I'm sick because I ate meat last night because of munchies. Oh, no. Sorry, Colleen. I hope you feel better. Wait, wait. Is that, is that a vegetarian person, Colleen, in her thing? Hey, y'all. I'm sick because I ate meat last right? night because like of munchies? Diarrhea and sick every freaking time. Can't even take my meds. Are you a vegetarian who got munchies so bad you became a meat eater? I've never heard of that before. What the fuck? What are you here? Ugh. God, I honestly hope Natter does kick your ass someday. Sorry. Even what though I hate fuck? Natter, I hope he does. Why would you wish that your alleged abuser kicks anybody's ass, Chantal? Roman. Box, Box Roman, please, Roman. Roman would kick your ass. Roman would kick your ass. I would. I could kick your ass. I mean, anyone could kick your ass. BBJ can kick your Chantal, ass. Chantal, you can't barely get up like, off the couch. You can't do anything. Come on. Maybe. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Weird. Hell no, she did not. Dan said he could play guitar for my track. Okay. Roman's like a ninja. I don't know. Agathon, you think I'm concerned about that? I don't give a shit. He can't fight his way out of one. Probably because people are tired of me rant raging. But am I going to stop? No. He can't fight his way out of a paper bag. It's time to get a little piece of humble pie. Seriously! Like, that's what I mean by consider the source. If you're ever being criticized by somebody... Actually, this is not criticizing. This is calling me a pig, making fun of me, talking about my sex life. All that's not criticism, you asshole. Well, Koki did the same and you just kept paying his rent. So, come on. Famous, that's why you need to use my name to get any views at all? Okay. Hi, Rochelle. And even then, like, you still only have 10,000 subscribers. Whatever. Roman is a mouse man. He's Chris Chan 2.0. What? A mouse man? No, he's not. Oh, no. Lord Baroque. No. That's awful. I'm so, so sorry. Lost the dog I walked after five years. It was Walking last minute, but I made sure I said goodbye. That's awful. Oh, my heart. I hope you're okay. Take the time to grieve. I'm glad you got to say goodbye. That's so hard. It's so weird that a man discusses you like he does. It is weird. It is weird. He, it's like a weird, even like that garlic guy, he's so fucking weirdly obsessed and gross. Like, he knows he's like just nothing without my, my fucking stuff. You're all nothing. I ordered paneer. I want to put it in the oven, though. I want to go play Mario, actually. I'll be back, though, after. Hi, hippie. Pix, thank you so much for the super chat. Exactly. I know. I know Black Slayer. It's even weirder that he gathers the scourges of the earth to discuss it with him. Ew. I know. Oh my god, I took a screenshot of one of their faces. She was like, I'm gonna post it on my community tab. <laughs> Fucking weird biatch. They like are so mad about my sex life and like whatever else. Like, you literally realize you're sitting for a couple hours, at least an hour and a half, maybe two hours, on a panel. Just stop touching the goddamn wig. I'm about to lose my shit. I swear to God. Stop touching the fucking wig. 
a very you're not cute dramatic, with the fucking really fake nails really and the fake show. hair and the fake yeah, attitude coverage, and the fake eyelashes like, you're fake as fuck and, and it's still just awful Chantal god damn it this is so pathetic week. because you're so jealous so because you don't look like me whoa 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 Sorry, she did not so just I mean, say like, that really they're all jealous me. because they don't they look so like sad? her oh my god strike monty's channel bees <laughs> it is bullying it pretty much is but i don't give like i don't care i'm like honestly do you think i care what fucking if monty thinks i'm fat monty trust me while you're sitting there fucking retaining your sperm and calling me fat i'm getting it by real men so <clears throat> Anyway, Peacock Butterfly, thank you so much for the super chat. Okay, I'm going to go for now and go play Mario. Fuck. Oh, thank God. Monty is homely. I don't even care. Like, I, I, I no, I'm not a child. I don't care. Like, I don't care. He's just an asshole. He's a fucking asshole. He's a dweeb. Like, if you think of the word dweeb, I think of him. He's a dweeb. And you're a desperate 38 year old washed up. I would say in used up, but you haven't been theory. used at all in your life. <laughs> Unless it was for money. Eh? Zero experience, about, about Bambi, about starfish, Next useless in know, every way a human can be useless, filthy asshole with no they're personality. Talking Keep talking mad shit about everyone else, though, <laughs> Sponge. Oh my God. No more Mrs. Nice Girl. No. Mm mm. Yeah, I'm nice to people who deserve it and who are nice to me and don't cause me trauma. Yeah, I'm nice to those people. Trauma. But the but ones I who cause you trauma, I'm you paid their rent for over a year. I, I'm are sorry. Like, like, what? I'm All I'm doing is putting a mirror to what you're fucking doing. When do you ever look into yes, a mirror? Including, including you, you because, because look at your fucking uh, picture. You look like a dead deer in the headlights. Lay off the makeup, bitch. Look at this one. She's sitting under 16 inches of makeup telling someone else to lay off the makeup. Oh, this can't be real. This fucking asshole. So she takes a selfie like this. This is her. I see you fat fishing. Fuck off. Get out of here. Obviously you're jealous. Like that's prime textbook jealousy. Oh Prime my God, where's her mother? Jealous. That's it, that's it. I know I don't say this often, but I'm about to say it. Mother, Mother Soro, where the fuck are you? Where the fuck are you? Either lock this lunatic up, okay? Do do a favor to society. And it's not really a favor. You, you unleash this psycho into society. You should have to do something about her psycho ass, okay? And if you don't want to, well then, listen... I got questions for you, Mama Saro, and you should have to answer. Um, oh, what what did you do to her? <laughs> what did you do? How many times and for how many years did you tell this heifer that every woman that she has a problem with is just jealous of her? You fucking idiot. Don't you think maybe that was the stupidest thing you've ever done? Now you have a 38-year-old grown-ass toddler who can't work for herself, can't stand up on her own goddamn two feet, will be taken advantage of by literally any borderline homeless criminal crackhead, okay? And what, just sits there with a wig on and 16 inches of makeup on in a shirt that you probably bought for her behind Box Mountain on a filthy couch in a place that she can't even rent in her own fucking name, spewing her shit onto people? I want to know every way that you fuck this psychopath up because I blame you. And yeah, in this case, I will say, I blame the mother because she's a grown ass toddler. Mommies are supposed to take care of their toddlers. Where the fuck's the mommy? Huh? Living her best life in Cornwall? Listen up, Cornwall. Come and collect your shit. Fix this bitch's head, fuck. Bucks. I'll use it to get some fucking new makeup in honor of you. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> she does look like a roadkill. <laughs> Wide-eyed roadkill. My throat, my stomach. <laughs> Please keep trying. Keep trying. <laughs> Pretending you're fat. Yeah, people, I don't know. People think that you have to be thin. People think you have, this is you're the problem with society. 
People think you have to be thin to be worthy of anything. Like they really think that being called fat is an insult. When I literally sit here and show you my fat body and fupa, here you go. I'm 700 pounds. Sarah, what? I'm 700 pounds. And I'm about to go stuff my gob. Stay mad. Anyway, I'm going to go play Mario. And um, 10 miles of rough road. Holy fuck. Sarah Jane sounds like 10 miles of rough road. So does Monty. And Curly looks like it. <laughs> and all these fucking women look like it. Oh my god. Ma'am, you look like the fucking Michelin <laughs> man. And the only reason that nobody could call you 10 miles of rough road is that nobody's ever ridden it before. Okay? Okay? You understand? Michelin man? But I bet a couple of people have bounced on it for cash. Blech. Blech. Let's do it. Have a good night. I'll be back, though. All my fun personality can't fit into a tiny body. There you go. Anyway. I've just been, like, pushing my limit today. I'm sorry to tell you. Like, I just fucking had to. I just unleashed. Like, I'm, I'm tired of this shit, man. <laughs> some fugly thin. There's some fugly thin people out there. Pretty, please. Are you kidding? God. Okay. I'll be back. Bye. Mm -mm. I told you I want listen I told you I was in a bad mood because of that fucking vet I told you she was gonna eat my shit tonight listen <laughs> poo poos roll downhill I got the shit from the vet Chantal is gonna eat my poo poos this is the way it is she's on my fucking nerves in a big 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 way delete of course it's gonna be deleted oh wait no Monica Bang thank you so much for the super chat girl Let's rage on, shall we? Uh, so we have the deleted rage stream from earlier today. It was called You Have Two Supporters. She's going in on everything and all things. So let's fucking go in on her a little. Let's get, we're on a good roll tonight. I like this on a Thursday. Let's just, all of us in the chat, all of us, whatever's your frustration on this Thursday and this close to a Friday, there's a lot of fucking frustrations. Let's just fucking unleash the shit out of them right here, right now. And then we end this thing and we go on to Friday. All right? Woo! Let's dump it all right here. Hold on. Let me get the tab. Lord Baroque, thank you so much for the super chat again. Thank you, Metal Hobbit. So, what do you think of these shades? Or should I wear my Dolce Gamana? Or will that be too much black? Be too much black. Well, these are hella cute. Oh my god. No, they're, they're hella not. Huh? Okay? Maybe it's a matter of opinion. Those are god awful sunglasses. At least they are on her. The sunglass pasted down wig hideous red lipstick for the afternoon is it's it's a combo it's a choice <laughs> you look like a fucking escaped mental patient chantal you guys like it <laughs> stay jealous tag with no picture as usual you probably look like fucking Munching and chatting. Oh, yes, Retro Queen. I think Dolce glasses would go better with this dress. Maybe, maybe too much black. You know? Um, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, yeah. Hello, Beast Triggers. So, what am I going to do? I don't know. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know if I'm going out with this person later. So, I'm like, are we hanging out later? Yes or no? Because I'm fucking impatient and I want to go eat. And if you don't want to hang out, well, then I'll hang out with someone else who does. I'm not wasting my time on people who do not value my company anymore. God. Okay, I'm annoyed already. She's got the little voice going, uh, I know, but waste my time on paper. I don't value my camera. Oh, the voice. She just literally picked her nose and then with that finger, wiped her hair, her hair, <laughs> wiped the horrible wig. She's just so gross. She's going for this, like, I don't know, teenaged valley girl. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're a washed up, middle aged hag. Okay, Chantal, get your fucking snot out of your fucking hair. It's disgusting. You're disgusting. Take a shower, throw that wig in the shower with you, and cut this shit out. Ugh. Oh, she's, ooh, I don't know. Wait, 
wait, question for the, the gang before we move on. Is everybody as annoyed as I am with her tonight? Is it the stream we just watched or is it the combo of the vet maybe making me this pissed? Because, like, she's so deeply on my nerves right now. Ah, the fucking the fucking attitude with those fucking nails. Ugh. Puke, man. Okay, y'all are also equally as triggered. Eye twitching. Okay, good. It's not just me then. Let's go on. Ah! Anymore at all. So I know you overreact a lot, but um, no Dolce coffee. Yeah, yeah. The shade. What shade? You can climb Box Mountain if you want to. You can do whatever you want. You guys want boxes? Come see me. I got lots. <laughs> I got lots of boxes for you. Hi, Trinity. I should do my OnlyFans content. When? Oh, that's interesting. She didn't acknowledge it, but did you see what she just she closed her eyes and did that deep like breathing thing? That's exactly what used to happen all summer last year. Every time she'd be getting ready to go to see Koki and to do the Koki. <laughs> and um, from the people that I've spoken to who have done the Koki and have the experience with the Koki, it's the anticipation of the drugs. And here she is doing it again. Allegedly conspiracy, whatever. Interesting, but notice it. I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, they can take the, the boxes, you know. I figure I'm gonna try to get dressed up every day. I don't know. I need to you know what I need to do is do all my laundry. I have so many cute outfits I could put together and like so many clothes I forgot I even have. Like like I used to have bangs on this thing, but like you can fluff them to make it sort Stop of touching the <laughs> goddamn wig. Yeah, the wigs are I hate it so world. much. Pete's, listen, I hate when Pete's comes downstairs. You know, you know, he has nothing to the, what's going on. If Pete's would just come running downstairs and yoink that wig right off of her head and yell at it like Elaine did, I hate this thing and this is what I'm doing with it and just throw that motherfucker out the window. Pete's, I will super chat you anything you want. Make it happen. <clears throat> I like it dead in here. <laughs> I like the fucking bees. I don't, I'm a tired of immature people. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> so what do you guys want to do? I think I'm going to go out for a while. Go, maybe I'll go for a little walk. You guys want to go for a walk or something? I already had my coffee. So I don't need coffee. Can you lend Didi and Natter some money? Didi took a pay cut at work to be at home with Natter more. <laughs> They're fucking pathetic. That's all I can say. I tuned in for like a couple seconds to hear him just in her fucking, I can't stand her fucking face. Like you literally, <laughs> it's not a flex to be with Didi. No offense. She looks like my fucking grandmother. And her pussy stinks. So you know what? Fuck you both. And you're full of shit. You're such a liar. You are such a liar. People have seen videos of you lying. You're still going to try to lie. Like, you're such a loser. You have two, you literally have two loser supporters. She doesn't look happy. They're both fucking miserable. I, uh, oh my God. There's, ooh, I have goosebumps. I'm, I'm so punchy right now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm punchy right now. Sitting there raging, talking about losers, losers with your hand going through the wig is just too much. It is so too much. You losers. You think it's a flex to go with Didi? You loser. You thought it was a flex to have a crackhead. A crackhead with green drippy D. A crackhead with green drippy D who didn't want anything to do with you. That was your flex. Let the fucking crackhead live, bro. Tamara, thank you for the super chat, girl. Well, I'm trying to make everyone believe that they're happy. Maybe she is because she fucking loves him because she's pathetic. He doesn't love you, bitch. The only reason he's there is because I dropped his ass off. Yeah, he fucks you because he needs he needs you to pay his rent. No, no. Oh, she's big time changing the story. We're going all the way back to Christmas for this story change. Listen to this crackhead. The only reason he's there is because I dropped him off. No, you dumbass. He was leaving you already for Dee Dee and you were just dumb enough to give him a lift. <laughs> A lift to the other woman's house that's on you, dumbass. No, he didn't end up with Dee Dee because you dumped him or something. First of all, there's nothing to dump. There was nothing going on. Everyone remembers the original Crackhead Olympics. We all remember it at Christmas time. He was at the crack house 
This was back in Gatineau days. And he had Dee Dee over and she stayed for days. And there was that pecan pie incident. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were done, Chantal. You were fucking done. Okay. It's not that you dropped him off anywhere. It's that Dee Dee sucked his dick on live stream. <laughs> How's that reality bomb there, you bitch? How does that make you feel? Dumb fucking ugly bitch. Take Mr. Coffee for a walk around the apartment. Ugh. I'm not going to let them ruin my day. You think you're going to escape your karma? You will be behind bars. And as long as I have a YouTube channel, I will fucking every day remind people that you're an abusive piece of shit. You made this life for yourself. You are a piece of crap. You fucking lied for a whole year to me. You had fucking relationships with Jennifer Corvina. You're a fucking loser. You are a fucking loser. Oh my God. Really? You fucking jeopardized and abused this precious body for fucking Grandma Doodoo and the bitch from the well? Fuck you. This, all of this, all of this precious body. She's like, ooh, she's really feeling herself with all that fake shit on. This precious body. Get the hell out of here. It's your fucking man. Chantal, here's a tip. If you're going to try and play it off as the precious body, you shouldn't refer to things like my vagina flops over like a piece of liver. Okay? That's not exactly loving on the precious bod. Okay? Come on, the precious body. You've got like 200 pounds on Dee Dee. For fuck's sake, I'm not saying she's the ideal woman. But it, again, I, I keep on saying this. I, I, I don't know why I keep saying this, but it always comes back to this, doesn't it? If I had to pick Dee Dee or Chantal, I'm picking Dee Dee forever. Forever. Dee Dee can stick and move and work and shut her fucking face on the internet. Just saying. Blessing A, thank you for the super chat. Oh, she wasn't afraid when S Jam came over. That was some bullshit for attention online. Allegedly conspiracy, whatever, in my opinion. And if S Jam was, no offense, S Jam, but you know what I mean, more her type looking, okay? Uh, she wouldn't have been fucking terrified. She probably would have been fucking flashing her low beam nips at him in the window when he passed by for the wave. Okay, we all know this. You. you deserve everything you get. Ugly, stupid loser. Go to the dentist. Oh, you can't even afford to go to the dentist now, can you? Because I was going to pay for that too. So what you're trying to do right there is flex that you got big, big dentist money. Here's a crazy idea. You're missing half of the teeth in your mouth. Why don't you take all that big, big dentist money and go and get some fucking implants, baller bitch. Let's go. Boss beaches don't only have front teeth. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, goodbye. I'll block you. <clears throat> when I rage, no, I'm not. <laughs> I actually don't make much sense. Anyways. Do you stutter when you're angry? Really? You literally have like two supporters left. You have two supporters left in your entire chat. Two. And they're like fucking stupid and pathetic like you guys. Do you wonder why you have two supporters? Do you wonder? Not because of lies people tell about you, because of your fucking actions. Because of your actions. This is why, this is why they're just lying, Ted, about everything. This is why, and the smugness, I can't. So every time you go on there looking smug, I will come and smear your fucking face. Yolanda Sly's super chat. What a Deliria San, thank you so, so much for the super every chat. Single one of them. I cannot fucking believe it. This is my best wig. <laughs> Matilda wig, which is the Matilda wig? No, I like the Matilda wig. Anyway, thanks. Oh, I see you guys. You guys are so cute. Frenchie's on fire tonight. Why Frenchie's just like pissed at life. And that's all. Oh, that is what happens. If you Frenchie's had a bad day or some shit, and then you Frenchie's come out and this dumb bitch is Frenchie's behaving like this. Oh, my God. She just becomes the outlet for my rage. He fucking lied to me and cheated on me with you. Disgusting. Disgusting. You are disgusting, Natter. You will fuck anything with a fucking hole. You sick fuck. Work out with that should tell you something about yourself, Chantal. What you just said right there. First of all, he didn't cheat on you. She didn't cheat or make, make him cheat. Whatever the fuck. There was no relationship. There was no cheating. And like you just said, ma'am, he will fuck anything with the whole. <laughs> when she tries to burn Dee Dee, but accidentally sets herself aflame at the same time. <laughs> with the anger. No, thanks. I'd rather rage. I'm working out my mouth. I don't know if he has a warrant. I don't give a fuck. 
Screw you. Let's go interview Rat Guy and find out all the truth. He probably fucked Rat Guy too. I wouldn't put it past you. What were the poppers for? Whose asshole were you loosening? Huh? Dee Dee's? Ugh, I hate them. I fucking hate them. She's even more disgusting. When I heard those tapes and her in on everything, Dee Dee, you think you sit there like, oh my God, like honestly, how you still have a job after all this? I have no idea. And you know what? Like you sit there acting like you're dignified and you're a woman with your fucking stupid, you, you know what? You shop at the Pennington section where all the old women fucking shop. So people complimenting your blouses, please. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chantal, that's what I say about you. That's exactly what I've said about you always. All those fucking pattern tops you get. Whose old lady section of Pennington's do you shop in? I've been saying that shit for years about you, girl. Now you're going to come out here and throw that out at Dee Dee? Which is like, yeah, I agree with you. But you both might, you might fucking bump into Dee Dee at that section of Pennington's because you'd both be there fighting. Actually, you wouldn't be fighting for size. <laughs> you got 200 pounds on Dee Dee. Mm. Point is, you would see her there picking through the same hideous fucking patterns that you do. God damn it. The, she just threw that out like she doesn't go to Pennington's and buy those goddamn tops. Ooh, she doesn't see herself. Oh, it's because she went to that place in Montreal called, wait, what was it called? Rock a Ronde? Yeah, I Googled that place. I was like, what is this place? Have they made like an actual like hip plus size? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not going to start insulting the Quebecois here, but there's a very distinct look at a certain age when you're Quebecois. For some reason, they all get these fucking tops with like chest pieces on them and stuff and dye their hair red. It's just, it's like a stereotype at a certain age here in Quebec, okay? I'm sure that's where they all shop. All the tops and the people modeling the tops on the website, it's like peak Quebec, okay? <laughs> the stuff is fucking hideous. And this way, where do you shop at the old lady section at Pennington's? <laughs> it's like, yeah, bitch, see you there. I'm like, Sydney Lorraine, thank you so much for the super chat. Please, please, you look like a fucking potpourri. You're as exciting as a bowl of potpourri, and you smell like potpourri. You're disgusting. You know what I mean? Okay, Lynn Smith, you're here. <laughs> Fanny, I don't know if you're here, but my apologies. <laughs> Nemesis, you're here too. Okay. You ever been to a place like, I don't know, anywhere that's like kind of old school and has old school, let's say, waitresses? The the automatic example I, that comes to my mind is Shelly Barbecue, where Chantal has taken us before, right? <laughs> Every fucking waitress in that place over a certain age, they're all Quebecois, right? They all have the same red hair. It's like, do they all just put their head in the same fucking sink and just douse all of them at the same time with that color? I don't know. But it's a look, and they all have it. She's the opposite of dignified. She's the opposite. If I change my mind, if you're here and you're going to run your mouth, bye. Fuck you. I saw his stream ended 20 minutes ago, and the first comment was someone declaring how proud they were to support him. They want fucking, like, if you, the only accomplishment in your life is to get recognition to make me mad by supporting an abuser, you're fucking sad. But there are sad people in the world. What can we do about it? Look at, like, psychos. Like, we can't fucking control that. But we can call it out. Okay, Bill. I fucking hate these bitches. You're a, bi you're a bitch. Not a, you're a bitch. You're not a real man. You're a little bitch with a diseased dick. You get them, Chantal. Clover, Recently, you do not have, have to like, change your hair. It's not your kind of red. I'm going to send you a picture after. Bitch. You're going to see what I mean. Do something about it. Why would anyone support an abuser? Like, there's videos of him being an abusive person, and people are still like, oh, well, we don't want the drama. We just want to watch you make burnt food. The shade of red that they use is almost like a fire truck. Um, it's It doesn't exist in nature. <laughs> it's fucking wild, okay? Just analyze. Like, they're so miserable. Like, Dee Dee, your life is shit. You have to sit there at your shitty job that almost fired you after 27 years, really? What loyalty? No, they don't like you. After 27 years of slaving away at a job and they don't even give a fuck about you because you went on company time and supported your abuser and did things for him to make you jeopardize your life. Hmm. Did she just really take a shot at Dee Dee because Dee Dee was able to keep a steady job for 27 years? <laughs> oh my God. Chantal, have you kept a job for a year? Just one year? I really, really doubt that. She just took a jab at somebody because they were able to hold down a job for 27 plus years. 
That is insane. She's so jealous. You know what it is? Like she's so goddamn jealous of Didi for so many reasons. She's got Cokie. She's got employment. She's got a mortgage. Ah. <laughs> she's negative 200 pounds on Chantal. There's just so many reasons that Chantal is jealous. <laughs> You have a bowl haircut, you have gray booger hair, and you're fucking boring like a fucking wafer cracker. Really? Ma'am, if she's a wafer, you're a sponge. I've been calling you that for years. I would ask you what color your hair is down there, but I'm sure you haven't seen it in years. And you're really going to talk about somebody's bowl haircut? Hmm? Why don't you show us your haircut? Oh, wait, that's right. <laughs> Choose your battles, wighead. <laughs> really? And that's who you are enjoying your life with now. That's who you jeopardize. No, I'm glad. This is a fucking, this, this happened. This all happened to make my life better. That's, that's it. Even when he was burning food and cooking raw chicken, I couldn't bring myself to sit and watch. <laughs> I let reaction channels handle that, yes. I'd so travel and experience different men and places if I were you. Are you kidding me? That's what I'm fucking doing. Absolutely. Book a trip out of the, that's what I was talking about this morning. Like, I have, I was talking to that guy. Oh uh, my God. How, look at how many times coming. she's touching the wig. I can't take it. Stop touching the fucking wig. Stop it. Stop it. You know what this is? You know what this is? Oh my God. When I was 16, <laughs> I used to straighten my hair. This was like back in the day. Okay. I used to put my hair in sections onto a fucking ironing board and literally iron my hair with an iron, like a clothes iron. Ooh. And then from the curls, I would be going to, sm to school and I always had long hair. So this like long, sleek, silky, freshly pressed hairdo. Ooh. I couldn't stop touching it all day long. All day long. Eh, eh, eh. I couldn't stop fucking touching it. <laughs> this is her with the goddamn wings on. Go out of country October, November. I mean, end of September, October. I don't know. We'll see. It depends where I go. depends when I can get a flight. I find it very hard to like, I need to figure out. I don't know. It's hard to figure out where to book the flights from. And like, they're never, I can't, couldn't find any like on the dates I wanted. And she said she was going to ask her brother for 30K to sue me. Bring it on, granny bitch. Bring it on. Bring it on. You and him manipulated and lied to me. Actually, I could probably go to the cops and get you and shit, which I might do just because I fucking hate you. Hi, plain cheeseburgers. Just the usual shit. Live your best life. Hi, Rochelle. <laughs> Nobody important goes, oh my God. <laughs> Ironed your hair with an iron. What century were you born in, Frenchie? Listen. My boomerism started young. I always grew up, you know, like the houses that have all the new stuff and all the technology. Yeah, I did not grow up in one of those bitches. <laughs> no, I didn't agree. Why is Nader still free and not in jail? Because of people like Didi. I don't know. Maybe the justice system is fucked up. I really don't even know. She looks like the puppet from Saw. She does. I don't care. I'm shaming today. Whatever. Fuck it. Like, I'm sorry, but would you not be a little bitter if you saw that the person that you spent so much time and money on and love was fucking that the whole excuse me what did i just stroke out i need to hear the tense of that verb love again hold on she looks like the puppet from saw she does i don't care i'm look shaming today whatever fuck it like i'm sorry but would you not be a little bitter if you saw that the person that you spent so much time and money on and love was fucking that oh Wait a minute. What did she just say? She just said, if the person that you spent to past tense, all that money on and love spent of money, spending of money was past tense, but love was very much, very much current tense. <gasps> Let's just listen to that little nug again. Notice the two verb tenses. Hold on. Maybe the justice system is fucked up. I really don't even know. She looks like the puppet from Saw. She does. I don't care. I'm look shaming today. Whatever. Fuck it. Like, I'm sorry, but would you not be a little bitter if you saw that the person that you spent so much time and money on and love was fucking that the whole time? Would you not be able to? Boom. There it is. She always tells on herself eventually. Like, we knew it. Of course we knew it. We're not morons. I'm sorry. The, the, all these made up dates and boyfriends and blah, blah, blah. If you really were, you know, thinking of someone else, we know how she functions. She becomes obsessed with everything. If there was anybody actually new or whatever, she'd be obsessed with them. She wouldn't be worrying about Koki and Didi all day, every day. But she's still just talking about Koki and Didi all day, every day.
And there you go. That's why. Because love is right now. And we knew it. Mm, love that for her. Flirty Hershey. Hey, girl. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks for being here. A little miffed. Gross. Gross. And then I realized though at the same time, when I look at him and his teeth and his gross gone rea dick, I was fucking that the whole time. You're scrawny, you're gross. I've been with so much better fucking looking men since you. <laughs> Have you though? <laughs> Have you the liar? Uh... Guys always cheat down for some reason. They're pieces of shit. That's actually, you and Didi deserve each other. This is all you get. Didi, you look like a big, fat, ugly loser sitting there being like, yes, nanny. We deserve privacy, nanny. Go fucking suck his dick. You freaking suck. She has, and she will. <laughs> a jealous, jealous. Yeah, we need our privacy natter. That's what he likes. He's like into the privacy. And your dumbass comes out and keeps on saying every detail online and always has and always will, which is great for us. I mean, for the show purposes, fantastic. Thank you. Keep spilling everything. But, mm, and saying that she's sitting there looking like a big fat anything, girl. <laughs> a tank full of tanks. We've been through this. The Kool-Aid jug and the glass of Kool-Aid. Okay. We've been through this, Chantal. <laughs> this is so stupid. She's 38 years old. This is so stupid. Mama Saro, I hope you're fucking proud. Look at the great job you did. Look at the well-adjusted little grown-ass toddler you've put out into the world. Fantastic. Well done. Tabarnak, not the fupa. Thank you again for the super chat. <laughs> Sardine. <laughs> at home with melissa i'd be super disgusted right like it's dd she's gross sorry yes i am shaming her she deserves it you deserve everything you deserve everything everything the way you two lie so effortlessly you're both disgusting and you're both gonna go down so i hope you're enjoying your prize doo-doo you big pile of crap diarrhea he belongs in jail it's getting real old tell them they are sad specimens of flesh gross i have to do therapy because i slept with you that's fucked <laughs> Nada looks six no, 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 no. You don't get to blame them for that one either. If you had been doing the therapy that you should have been doing since you were a fucking child, you maybe wouldn't have been so fucked up in the head that you wouldn't have fallen for a fucking crackhead. Just saying. Mm -hmm. It's because you're fucked up in the head that you ended up sleeping with them. This is not one of those chicken or the egg questions. You came into this super fucked up. You don't get to pretend like you were some well-adjusted influencer before you met Koki and he just ruined your life. Hmm? It was a ruined life already and you just took on a crackhead. Whatever. Big, big fucking deal. It gave you another topic to discuss at therapy. But it doesn't mean that that's when you should have started therapy. Damn it. Justine, thank you so much for the super chat. Zero's old. I think he lies about his age. Wouldn't be surprised me. It would like you're gonna sit there and try to tell people you're not a liar when they you literal video proof of you lying. Literal. The case he's going to court for is me, yeah. I guess so, yeah. I don't really know much about the cases and stuff. He's such a liar, it's just hard to tell. So is Monty though. Like it's hard to trust Monty. He's a fucking piece of shit liar too. So who knows who's telling the truth and who's not, right? Thank you, love goddess. <laughs> anyway. I hate the bangle on his hair. Everybody's a liar except for St. Marie. Get, out for a minute, like, get away and just like fucking, oh my God. I definitely need to go travel and like forget about the shit. He feeds off others to survive. Yeah, you're a real man. You're feeding off doo-doo right now for, to survive. You're literally having sex with Donald Trump and that's a flex. And what I think what triggered me is when I heard him say, Chantal started talking about me, it's all lies. Again, again, calling me a liar. So every day I will make sure that people are reminded what a piece of fucking shit you are. I'm not saying he's the same Laura. Do you not understand what I'm saying? He's a fucking piece of shit though too. Monty's a piece of shit and he lies. Monty's panel of women don't trust him. They sent him money. Yeah. He can put two more continuances on this, but then after that, he's going to have to appear virtually. Oh, so you can put two more. Anyone can look up the law, you dumb, dumb dipshit. Oh, God, you need to go back to Egypt. And Didi needs to go with you. Not Donald Trump. She's hideous. I don't understand. Everything about her is hideous. Her personality, her fucking the way she lies, the way she completely just like simps totally for an abuser um like in the worst way like no and then who are the poppers for yeah let's do a truth hour god i'm so glad i've seen who you really are and i will live a wonderful life without you and you know it you know you're a piece of shit you said it in the video you hate yourself because you're a piece of shit 
basically. So I'm going to go on, glow up, live a wonderful life, and you're probably just going to keep abusing elderly women because you're a real man who abuses elderly women and rot in jail. That's it. Oh, God, the glow up and living her best life. Sure. Okay. No one hold their breath. Uh, Monty didn't lie. He just got it wrong. I just wanted to address this because I agree. And I, I'm saying this again today. I said it yesterday. I agree. I don't think Monty lied about what happened yesterday in the court. I genuinely, and it's what I said yesterday when I came out, right? I genuinely think it's a, it's a miscommunication, a misunderstanding. Quebec French is hard to understand, even if you speak French. I, I know I said all this yesterday, right? I genuinely think it was just misunderstanding. And that's why I was so happy when Fanny was here yesterday. And it was somebody who's French, Quebecois French is the first language. And they actually were listening to the court thing. So that, you know, like that misunderstanding doesn't take place. That's what I think happened yesterday. Anyway, I don't, I don't at all think Monty was lying about what happened. Miscommunication. That's all. Next, next court thing. I got to tell you, I want to be in the listening uh, pool or whatever. Uh, I want to hear it for myself too. Cause I just, again, for mis miscommunication purposes, well, Quebec French is my second fucking language. I can understand it too. You know, I want to hear it for my own ears. That's all. Hi guys. Hello. I'm actually going to go out and go for a drive. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Nothing. Okay. There's leftovers in the fridge. Okay. If you want. Oh, right, yeah. Like in a foil wrap thing. Because I'm probably going to go out for a while. Yeah, yeah. but that's just going to get better. Okay. He's a senior citizen offender. I'm going to go out. Yeah, exactly. He's gross. No justice, no peace. <laughs> Basically. Who we talked about? You know who. Okay. I do not think SBL should be monetizing off this. They're they're just as big pieces of shit though. That's the thing. They're acting like heroes for outing him. Sure, okay, that's nice, but your motives are all fucked. Just because Jennifer Corvina couldn't get it in, that's it. Same thing with fucking Doodoo Genius. They're both jealous fuckers. That's it. And you should be grossed out and ashamed that you sat on that kind of abuse and behavior for months. You'll get your karma. That's it. Why is that oh my god, that's so funny, Carlotta. Right, thank you for the super chat. FFG, look at the map on the wall. We're about to lose Australia to Box Mountain. Oh my god, is that how we're gonna start measuring Box Mountain now? Oh my god, that's really funny. Bye, Australia. It's like, it's like a weird game of Plinko though, because the next box could be thrown up there and maybe it tumbles down. Hmm. Australia may be saved still. There may be a few more Amazon runs still for Australia. That is so fucking funny. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Portland. Bye, Laura. See you. I don't want people here telling me what to do with my life, okay? I'm not responsible for anyone's happiness but my own. Thank you. Fuck you. Well, let's be honest. Barely is responsible for that. Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't even want you here. You're annoying. Everyone is just in it for the money. If you don't know that by now, you need to reevaluate. Yep. Oh, yeah. Hu hubris. You can't say we. We is like amateur French. We? That's like real French. Why? Why? That's Gibby Quap. Why? No, I didn't get my steps in today. And actually, just because you said that, I'm going to lay in bed all fucking day and do negative steps. How do you like that, bitch? <laughs> just go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get your steps in today? No, because you're too busy fucking obsessing online. Like everyone else. Shut up. Where's my fucking purse? I don't care, N. <laughs> I'll hurt. I'll do it just to spike people. I don't care. Anyways, what am I going to do? I need to go for that. Negative steps walking backwards. I think it would be, no, because walking backwards is still walking. People actually miss Alyssa. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Mara Lee. Thank That's you for the super chat. I'm so sorry. I I normally do, but with what's going on with Ollie, I honestly haven't been in a while. <gasps> I will really, really genuinely try to get there either tomorrow or Saturday. I'm so sorry. Please try to understand. I'm not blaming negligent. He's been having really rough days. I'm so distracted. I'm sorry, girl. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Barbies. ready to be. I need to move away from my life. 
I'm not happy here. I fucking hate this place, actually. I hate it. And I don't like, I want to just like be by myself. Oh, now she hates the villa. I hate it here. I just want to be by myself. You can't sign a lease. That's why you have a roommate. Now, what is a problem for you? It's a problem. Your, your bestie, the roommate, your landlord, it's a problem for you. I hate it here. I want to be alone. Ugh. I wish I fucking never met them. I hate them so much. I hope they fucking suffer and perish in the worst way. I hope they, their life crumbles and fucking falls. Wow. And I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel sell. about them. Jesus. Oh, my being. Like, when I think of them laughing at me, fucking fucking me over, this is your karma. Listen very carefully to me. You too will pay for what you've done. And bitch, Dee, if you think you're gonna take me to court, just just fucking try it, bitch. Because I will. You are gonna. You are going. You are going down. You are going down, Grandma Ugly Doo Doo. You are going down. And you too. You too, Natter. Green gonorrhea giving motherfucker. Your life is shit and will be shit from now on. You'll always be running from the law. At Dee's condo. Nice life you have. That's what you deserve. You're already in prison. We don't have to worry about you actually going to prison right now because in the meantime, you're actually in prison. Well, I mean, like, so are you. Hmm? You live your whole life kind of like a hostage in your fucking bedroom or down eating on your couch or rolling around your kitchen. You're you're kind of also a prisoner. <laughs> you're just not awaiting a court date. Um, and, and all this talk and all this of, like, you're going to see and blah, blah, blah. It's coming off as sort of like a threat. Hmm? like I, I know that's not how she means it she means it like what she's gonna go again to the cops and do another fake report or whatever but if you don't if you didn't like kind of know how Chantal is doesn't it kind of sound like a threat because it all kind of sounds like a threat to me you'll see and uh really what do you mean you'll see <laughs> threatening stop threatening them Begging me to get you an apartment to get away from doo doo, and then you put holes in her wall, and she still harbors you. Nice womanly power, doo doo. Fucking dumb bitch. I feel the same about people who had to do with me being essayed and harassing me when I spoke about it. I'm just blocking those people. They can fuck off. Oh, uh, and <laughs> he's in heart failure, so, kidney failure, so, and liver failure. So it's a whole bag of problems. I'm tired of the shit. I fucking hate hate being here. I fucking hate that I'm like mentally and just affected at all by this shit that I didn't ask for. I did nothing but be a fucking supportive, nice fucking partner. And this is what I get fucked over by the two of you, not by just one, but two of you, two of you. You're too good for them. Karma will absolutely take care of them. P.S. You look beautiful. Thank you, Lauren. Ready to read these. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, honestly, and all he had was a heart I'm problem. Just I'm just saying brought on by old age. He's 14 and a half years old. Like, honestly, he was a healthy I boy his whole life. He heart. then got a I heart problem. Heart. And the heart meds caused all the other problems. It's fucking heartbreaking. I want to improve my life. And I don't want to fucking be responsible to, to do that with anyone else. Like, in life, you need to work hard to fucking make a life for yourself. Like, you know, like, yeah, it doesn't look like I work hard. Whatever. Whatever. I make my own money. I pay my fucking bills. Where, however I do that, it doesn't matter. Like, you shouldn't be mad at how I make my own money. But I can't be responsible. I can only be responsible for my own happiness. And at best times, I had a trouble with that. You know, and I like being alone. I like being completely alone. I want to travel alone. I just don't even want to be bothered. Like, he seems to bring you down sometimes, like when you ask what he's doing. No, I guess just sometimes I just want to be alone, you know, and like, no. But now you think it didn't matter. So you spent a lot of your time raging. I know it's not. But, and I mean, I've been through some shit. So me processing it, like, you know, I am focusing on myself. Thank you so much, Mara. I really appreciate it. I've traveled alone so many times, yeah. <laughs> you saw your vulnerability and took full advantage of that situation, cockroach. Well, thank you for making me stronger. Thank you. And you're weak. You're a weak, coward little bitch. That's all you are. And you're wasting away. Everyone sees it. Nobody believes you. You literally have two supporters. And those people will get their karma for supporting a fucking abuser, a piece of shit, evil person. Anyway, we talked about visiting Egypt. I went to work and back and something happened. <clears throat> what an emotional whirlwind for you. It really is. It sucks. Oh, Patricia, thank you for the super chat. I'm so sorry, girl. I hope you guys are okay soon. The two supporters? I don't even know. Nobody's. Your beautiful inside out just says they are gross and I think. 
course he gets off on knowing I'm upset. He's a piece of shit, fucking emotional vampire loser. It made him happy to see me cry. He fucking loved it. So you know what? I'm going to love watching you suffer every minute. Every minute you are suffering. I know you are. You're a loser, piece of crap. And then they get all, they always say, oh, I have something to do. What? Rail Didi some more? Your fucking grandma lover? Good luck with that. That's not a flex. Gross. They're just lying and deflecting. And still, he's basically still saying I'm a liar. Like, really? <laughs> okay. He will always. He will never admit it. Never, 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 never. But her, like, I used to feel bad for her. I do not feel 1% bad for anything that happens to Didi. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. Nope. Even if more videos come out, I don't care. I have a dead heart for any of those people. Even if... Can you imagine sitting there still claiming that you were uh, abused and wishing harm like that again? I don't care what happens to her and blah, blah, to the person that your alleged abuser is living with. And she's stuck there with him and she doesn't have, you know, she, Chantal had certain advantages with Koki. First of all, it wasn't a real relationship. Second of all, she didn't live with Koki. Third, she had the car. She could just hop in her car and drive to her house, right? Dee Dee doesn't have a car or another place to go to. Let's say Koki's there. Koki is fucking there. And for Chantal to say something like, I don't fucking care what happens to her. Again, I, those are the things that make people wonder just how much of what she said happened between her and Koki is true. Because who the fuck would ever say something about the person who might be eating the same shit that you were eating? And I mean, we heard those tapes, so it's, I can't, I can't imagine that. <laughs> um, Our Lady Chantal of Perpetual Poutine, thank you so much for the super chat. Chantal is on her knees in front of Monty as he passed, oh my God, girl. Is he ready to release? Oh no, <laughs> not the retention! Oh my god, a bunt, a glazed bunt cake. I'm fucking dead. Thank you so much, Our Lady Chantal of Perpetual Poutine. <laughs> if I see him being violent to her, I don't care. I don't. I don't. I don't feel bad. He's a Geronto file. <laughs> stealth, honey, stealth. You need to learn stealth. I'm huge on retribution, but I wait for my moment. Hit them while they don't see it coming. I know. It's true. It's definitely something like to be able to control your emotions like this. I can't right now. He's a joke. It just took you longer to find that out. Yeah. I was conned. Conned by him constantly telling me he loves me constantly. Asking me to get an apartment for me and him thinking that he can't stand living with Dee Dee. Meanwhile, he's just trying to figure out which source is the best one. How about you get off your fucking lazy ass and get a fucking job and get your own place. You have to live off a woman. How does that make you feel? Like you're sick. After I saw the video of him hitting her and he's still- Mandy, there, thank you no so, so much, girl. I really at appreciate at it. And all. thank you guys all in the chat for the love, for Ollie and stuff. I'm sorry, I just can't really read it too much or acknowledge it because then I'm going to cry and we're pretending like this isn't happening. You know, we sweep this right under the rug. So it's the only reason I'm not acknowledging, but thank you guys so much for all the, the support and all the love to Ollie. Sorry especially after her fucking taunting me and mocking me. Bitch, you think you have a case now? You're insane. I hope you spend $30,000. I hope. And you know what's funny is you you wished that he would take take every dollar from me. That's what he's doing to you. You have to borrow money. He told me you have to borrow money from your brother because you're so fucking broke because of him, I'm sure. You give women STDs. You make them go broke. You hit them. You sexually abuse people. You are a fucking pathetic little like piece of shit. He's creating a fan club that will send commissary. I'm envious of your beauty today. I have gotten myself to Oh, Bowser, it, you know, makeup makes a big difference, you know? So. That wig hits different. You like this wig, Lena? Thanks. I did curl it, but it needs to be fixed a bit more. I'm just like super stressed. I'm just not happy, like, where I want to be. Like, I just, I'm impatient. I just want things to happen, like, right away. I want to get the fuck out of here. I hate it. I hate that I fucking had to go through this shit. 
You didn't have to go through anything. You kept going back to it. Stop fucking crying. No one has any sympathy left for you. It's enough now, you whiny little bitch. Go to therapy or shut the hell up about it. I'm sad that I'm not where I want to be. Where's that? The crack house? We know where you want to be. Cut the shit. Like, I'm so mad that it still affects me. Like, I don't want it to. I fucking, I honestly, like, today I was like, I fucking, I just wish they would be dead. The two of them. And for me. Whoa. 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 You can't say things like that on YouTube. Are you out of your fucking mind? What's the matter with you? Ah. Ah. No, no. Oh, Chantal, shut up. Just walk the fuck away. It's enough. She's crazy. This crazy. You can't, you can't just come out and say that. You've been talking shit for so many months now about these people. And stuff. You can't come out and say shit like that, Chantal. Oh, my God. Pix, thank you so much for the super chat and the love for the babies. Appreciate it. No, yeah, she's beyond She's beyond crazy. Crazy. That, that was just fucking crazy. There's no line that this one won't pass. Huh? She's the one. Oh, I just wish they weren't there. <laughs> and then you see Koki's channel open on her computer screen and the reflection on her uh, sunglasses. What the hell? Just stop, Chantal. Leave them alone. It's enough. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. This was deleted. Of course it was deleted. You didn't wish that on somebody? It's so dark and so bad like imagine being to the point where you don't care if someone lives or dies that's how much hate you have for someone crack noir thank you so so much girl no know, it's, it's just because just... of how bad they hurt me you know like i fucking hate them and i just wish i wish they would feel what i felt for a whole year I really hate him. I really wished him. I really, 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 really didn't care. I know it's not fair, but trust, girl, you will get through this. I hope he gets what I hope he fucking pays. Thank you so much, Marily. I really appreciate it. It's it's so fucking heartbreaking. Eh? From, I Incredible. Like, that... oh, fuck. We're so strong and so weak at the same time. Hey, eh? and science is so amazing and so fucking heartbreaking at the same time. You know what I mean? Like. You can leave, but that stuff will stay in your head and heart. Exactly. Like I said, I'm I'm over him. I'm actually, when I look at him now, I'm actually fucking embarrassed that I was ever with someone like that, you know? So what I'm not over is the anger and the hate I have for them. Like, I fucking hate them. And the more I hear her in on it, the more I wish she loses her job, the more I fucking don't give a fuck. And you swore on your mother's life and that's why she's sick. Your mother is sick because of you. So that's on you. I'm sorry, I believe in that. If you put bad energy and you fucking swear over and over to me on your mother's life, karma, sorry. Because your mother's life is valuable. You don't just swear on someone's life. <laughs> Didn't this one swear on her grandmother's life while her grandmother was in the hospital right at the end? Don't answer. I know the answer is yes. <laughs> You're right, Chantal. It takes a pretty sick fuck to come out swearing on someone's life when they're lying and high on cocaine. A pretty, pretty sick individual. Oh, wait. That was you. Shaner, thank you so, so much for the super chat girl. Like, I did that, like, when my grandma was already passed, but I did it, like, to basically tell myself, and I'll never do it again, I'll never swear on that, but I basically said, I'm never going back. 
And at the time, I believed that. It no. Oh, no. You don't get to just blow this off like it's nothing. You fucking did it. You did it. And you went back so many damn times, Chantal. It's not nothing when you do something, but it's a big something when someone else does it. If it's a, it was bad that he swore on his mother, absolutely. You did the same fucking thing. Your grandmother was in the hospital at the end of her life. What kind of a sick bitch would do that? I, I can't even imagine. You don't, you don't, uh, how do you call that? Swear on someone's life. You just don't do that. We don't do that. You don't fucking do that. Even if you're telling the truth, don't bring other people's lives into your shit. Swear on your own goddamn life. If you're so confident with what you're saying, put yourself on the line. Swear on you. Don't bring anyone else. I hate people who do that shit. To me, you're lying. If you have to start saying, I swear on this one's life and I swear on that one, you're fucking lying. Swear on your own or shut your face. Lindsay, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. It wasn't a lie because I didn't have in my head that I was deceiving people thinking I'm going to go back. No, no, you didn't have anything in your head except for the cocaine. <laughs> that was in your head and that was had been going through your head and would still go through your head for a while after your grandmother was gone. Chantal, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if at the time that you swore on your grandmother's life, you didn't want to go back. You swore on your grandmother's life that you wouldn't go back. So you should have fucking used some willpower and not gone back. You don't get to like, oh yeah, but I didn't mean to lie. Too fucking bad you did. I hope she loses her job too. She's so smug and doing dumb stuff on company time. Yep. Use that anger to feel the love for yourself. I'm trying. Maybe write your feeling thoughts on paper and then burn it. <laughs> That's a good idea. I need to do that cord. I did cut the cord. I don't know. She didn't cut the cord. She didn't cut the cord. You're not changing this story either. Koki cut the cord. When they were driving around Montreal looking for apartments, they found an apartment. They were clearly about to sign the lease. Chantal had already gone broke. She didn't have the money for the first month's rent. And when you sign a lease in Quebec and you get the keys, you have to pay that first month's rent. They got into a fight. And ever since then, things have been fucked up between them. And that was the month that she went broke. $15,000 spent in 13 days and she didn't even have one month's rent to put down on a shithole here in Quebec somewhere. Pathetic, Chantal. You didn't cut the cord on anything. He cut the cord on you because you weren't useful to him anymore. She was so desperate. to. It is karma. She was so desperate to keep him. She used her mom like that. Exactly, Lolo. Exactly. Exactly. Like she looked me right in the face in her ugly, stinky red lingerie after they chased me from the bedroom that you saw how fucking upset I was and you still lie for him. You are a disgusting bitch. You know that? And I can't like honestly and you put you you honestly what you put your friend shoo shoo through with her fucking husband like you guys are sick. Millennial 32. Was, thank you so much. Girl. On Messenger. Like you were trying to have threesomes with these people. You all are disgusting. I wait a minute. Wait a minute. Robert. Wait a minute. What did she just say? And shoo shoo through with her fucking husband. Like you guys are sick. And you, you helped him talk to people on Messenger. Like you were trying to have threesomes with these people. You. That's what I thought she said. Oh, interesting. You know who else helped him uh, get calls on Messenger and shit? You remember when um, they used to go live together on Koki's channel and there was fuck all to talk about because there's absolutely zero chemistry between the two of them? Yeah, that's right. You remember how Chantal used to say things like, come on, guys, call, call. She was encouraging her audience to call in to Koki's messenger. Do you remember that? I remember that clear as day. It happened multiple times. So tell us again, Chantal, how someone else was helping him get calls on messenger and meet people on messenger because you were the first one to do it. Okay. Okay. All are disgusting. 
I have stopped doing business with C.H. Robinson and I encourage all beezers to do the same. Yeah, because they employ an abusive Justine supporter. K, thank you so much for the super chat. Her laundry oh. stunk, yeah. She's all of her stunk. Why did I throw up? Chantal, stop talking about how Dee Dee stunk. Your roommate told us you smell like blue cheese. We know established you barely bathe and you don't wash your clothes. You pick them up off the floor and sniff the crotch. And I'm thinking no matter what you sniff there, you're putting them on. So stop calling her stinky, okay? No, honestly, I did throw up. It was gross. It was fucking gross. What do you want me to say? Lie? That's a lie. You didn't throw up because it was gross, eating the RB sandwich. That's not when you threw up. Apparently, according to the story that you told us, and the story that we heard leaked from Dee Dee, you threw up when you saw Koki eating the RV sandwich. You got so emotional. Oh my God, my crackhead's eating an Arby's. <laughs> Don't change the story, liar. No, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stephen Harper. I really appreciate it. And she, and has, she has the nerve to sue, like, for what? I exactly. never thought I'd be saying that She's sentence in my her. life. <laughs> you asserted yourself. You know a lawyer, honestly? I should do it just to prove to you. Honestly, you go to a lawyer and say, oh, <laughs> you insert. You inserted yourself into this. You inserted yourself into this. It's on video, you dumb fuck. I wonder if she still talks. She probably, co she probably, he, the love of your life wants to fuck your best friend. I love that for you. Because she's okay, and the love of your life wouldn't claim you and is living in Lachine with another woman <laughs> and fucked a homeless lady on the porch or whatever while he was allegedly with you. Stop it, Chantal. You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Fuck. Sleepy Moo, thank you for the super sticker. Hotter than you, and I, you know, I know that destroys you. So sick. Stop flinging the wig and thinking you're hot shit. I love how he laughs too. She talked about you, so I make her eat your pussy. Ha ha ha. Guess who's going to be laughing? Guess who's going to be laughing last? Guess me. No, you're wrong, bitch. I'll tell you who's going to last. Last. <laughs> laugh. Last and laugh best. It's us. It's the audience. You three morons just keep on running in a fucking triangle and uh, being idiots, okay? Dancing around in the stupid little triangle for us. We're the ones who last laugh. We're the ones who last last. What is the matter with me? Laugh best. Fuck you, crackheads. Just keep fucking triangling for us, okay? Bitch. Me. And you know it. And you know it. No. What do you... I bet you Natter's convincing her to sue so he can take... You know what he said to me? I, Didi wants to sue you. This was before I knew everything. And I'm the one who told her not to. He wants to be the savior. Savior Natter. Oh mm. my God. If she flings that fucking wig oh, no. hair one more time. I swear I'm losing my shit with this fucking wig. Pete, set them all on fire, please. She's a YouTuber now, public figure. Mm -hmm. No, she wasn't my best friend. She's fucking dumb. Like, I don't even understand the recordings. Through everything, all the stress, the chaos, the legal shit he and I were going through. And she's right there. Like, she sees everything. Everything. Oh, my God. She's worse than him, I swear. She's fucking dumb. You just said that Dee Dee is worse than the person that you claim is your abuser. I mean, Dee Dee is a fucking idiot, okay? Listen. I'm not trying to stick up for Dee Dee here. Dee, she's right about that. I, I oh. Benefit of the doubt to Chantal that she didn't know anything about Koki when she got in it, right? Dee Dee had been watching. Dee Dee, you saw everything everyone else saw, and you decided that, oh, my God, this is a catch. I like it the most. Oh, Dee Dee. No, Dee Dee. This one. <laughs> With the delusion and the fucking hair flinging. I'm losing my shit. Look, she's, a, yeah, she's mid-fling. Th that's what the pause is. She is mid-fling of that fucking wig hair. I can't. 
Stop. It's it's the combo. Listen, she's got makeup on. She's got those hideous fake nails and that wig. Oh, she is a boss beach in full effect tonight. Sure, Jan. Thank you so much for the super chat. I've never met people like this in my life, and I just I'm so grossed out. Stop that! I'm so grossed out. Oh, they are delusional, hugely delusional. I have stuff to do. No, you don't. You're a fucking bum with no job. You have nothing to do. Nothing Neither to do, do you. Like, you are also a bum with no job with fuck all to do, except for touch your wigs and talk about your crackhead. That's all you're good for. Dee Dee was a beezer and inserted herself in Chantal's relationship with Natter, just like a lot of those other fucking weird bitches. Eat it up now. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a better life, making me more money. Is this your better life? <laughs> look, look at the background. Look at look at the boxes. Look at where she's sitting. Look at this life. Look at this woman. Look at the hoopty parked in the driveway. Thanks for giving me a great life and lots of money. <laughs> Making us all jealous. Mm. Trips the light. Thank you so, so much for the super chat. I think Didi was a beezer who won a clout and got more than she bargained for. You Listen, this is a lesson for all you stupid losers out there trying to make a big name on YouTube. Not just anyone can do it, okay? Not just any wet rag like Didi can start a channel or Natter and think that Natter, th honestly, your channel hasn't grown. Your channel hasn't grown and you blame that on me. Your content's boring. You're a mediocre fucking cook at best. There's so many more professional channels. And guess what? Guess what I was going to do? <laughs> like before I found out everything and before you hit me, who was helping you with everything? I was doing your fucking thumbnails. I was editing your videos, neglecting my own channel. Did you appreciate any of that? No. <laughs> You're a fucking loser. That's why. And my karma natter will be, actually, I've already been getting it, being railed by men with not diseased cocks. Who oh, well, there was a slip. <laughs> she has not been getting it. Uncut Jams, Nancy P., thank you for the super chat. Um, do you notice, by the way, the way Chantal is pointing at us with those fucking hideous sunglasses? I can't. I can't. Let's just uh, play that one back. Listen to the little slip that dummy just let out. <laughs> Shit, any of that? No. <laughs> You're a fucking loser. That's why. And my karma natter will be, actually, I've already been getting it, being railed by men with not diseased cocks who are real men and pay for the hotel rooms that I stay at. God, you just told on yourself there. We'll be getting here. Yeah. What the fuck kind of a flex for people pushing 40 years old? Is it to throw in each other's face? I will be getting nailed in a hotel room paid for by a man. What? <laughs> That's your like highest aspiration at 38 years old. <laughs> You got anything else, Chantal? And any other kind of like a goal or some kind of ambition or anything that you aspire to achieve, obtain anything? No? Just getting dicked down in a hotel room that you didn't have to pay for? Good luck with that. <laughs> hmm. Chef that chef cook, yeah. That's all you are is just a scam. You're such a leech. He can't control you, so he's trying to make you seem feel crazy. Still, when he was lying and manipulating you the whole time and D2 knew the, D2 knew, knew the whole time. Exactly. She caught feelings for this stupid fucker. Like, if you see, like, I didn't see it. If you see what he's like and how he treats the woman he's supposedly with, what do you think he's going to do to you, Dee Dee? Look at you. You think you're better? Like, really? Come on. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, and again, just to remind you, the only reason you're together right now is because I dropped his ass off and said, bye. Mm -hmm. 
no head bitch mm, no and keep touching your nose and then your eyes because that's not going to give you a pink eye or anything you didn't drop him off you couldn't afford to sign the lease to get him the apartment oh and he dumped you then because if you're not even good for a rent payment what the hell are you good for chantal you weren't useful to him after that point you didn't drop him off weeks later you spent all day just trying to get him to come to meet you in a hotel and he wouldn't do it. <laughs> Chantal, shut up. You will never change the story. I swear to God, I will take this pause every fucking time that she tries to change the story until the end of time. She will never change this fucking story. And when she croaks, I will go and kidnap her headstone and have a new one made that says exactly that on her fucking headstone too. She'll never change the story. Mm. Something wasn't right, and I'm so glad. Whatever miracle of the universe that was. Hi, Vegas. I'm your twin. Yeah, how's your dad? Autumn Chandler, thank you so much for the super chat. I'm so sorry for your loss and for that stupid oh, yeah. joke that I just made. I'm such and a dick. I didn't read your super, super chat. I'm so sorry, girl. I'm so stupid. Please forgive me. I'm so, so sorry for your loss and for your family's loss. I think I'm going to get off here for now. Go figure out what I want to do. Sister, sister. She doesn't have a master's. Does she? I don't think she does. Hi, sweetie. I'm shocked she would throw it all away for an abusive man. She's fucking desperate. Who else is going to be with her? She's boring. Even her exes cheated on her too. I'm not shocked you. I'm not saying like people deserve to be cheated on, but she's a piece of shit. So I hate her. <laughs> Fuck. She does deserve to be cheated on. Only, only because she's the one who, like, honestly, I deserve to be cheated on because I cheated. I got my karma. So. What do you think? You're going to escape your karma, bitches? No, you're not. You're going to have to suffer it just like everyone else in the world. And you're probably going to get a lot more of it. So your karma is maybe delayed for now, but you're going to get it. Actually, your karma is having to live with each other. Like, we see the holes in your walls, dumb, dumb doo-doo. We see the holes in your walls. And what are you doing with your week off on vacation? Going anywhere special? No. You're holed up in your smoky-ass little condo with an abusive loser. That's fun. Chantal, you don't even know what it means to take a vacation because you haven't worked a year to even earn the week of vacation. Chantal, stop it. You are mortifying. If you don't stop touching that wig, I'm driving down to Orleans and I'm snatching that shit while you sleep. I swear to God. <laughs> uh, that was a joke. That was a joke, YouTube. I'm not being, I'm not going down for this bitch. It was a joke. Somebody needs to get rid of that wig. All the wigs. She can have no access to fake nails or wigs. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Chantal, it's Thursday. Why would you do this to us on a Thursday? You can't on a Thursday. Please, God, we're too deep in the week and still too far from Friday. You can't piss us off like this. You can't do this. It's not fair. Save this shit for Friday or Saturday. I could laugh at anything. We can make a game out of every time you touch that wig. On a Thursday, I want to break the new computer. And that's not good for anybody. It's too much. You've gone too far on a Thursday, Chantal. You're an asshole. <laughs> Platty, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Yeah, that wig. Swear to God, sweetness. She is on my last fucking nerve. Ha, 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 ha. How can she keep touching it? What is there left to touch? Like, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Stop touching the wig. I won't break the new computer. I'll just rage quit this fucking stream. <laughs> what goes around comes back around. Oh, God. <laughs> and then she's singing at us. So I'll just be patient, I guess. And bide my time. It sounds like some serial killer stalker shit.
Oh, Pet Smart. Happy early birthday. Early. We love a birthday weekend. You're so lucky. I can't get over how he finds Dee Dee attractive. He doesn't. But he doesn't care about that. Like his ex was fucking old and ugly too. Chantal, weren't you the ex in your own mind? You're the ex. So yes, I suppose his ex was old and ugly too. <laughs> Call the police. I know. People have called the police. The police have gone there. They don't do shit. Biding your time is smart. They will reveal themselves. People like that go to sleep miserable, wake up miserable. Tabarnak, not the fupa. Thank you for the super chat. Like, she knows that deep in that head of hers, that big, big head. She knows it, but she can't help herself. I'm not sure what I want to do. Me, the way he looks at Dee Dee after every sentence, he says, like, hey, mommy, look what I can do. Such a crime. I know he looks at her for approval and she goes, yeah, that's right. Not her. You are such a loser, lying loser. I'm the most beautiful lady he's been with. Actually, I am. <laughs> Thanks, Desi. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe he didn't think he was. God, she's so fucking insecure. Notice somebody, even the joke about being so good looking. And then she had to nervously giggle and touch the wig to soothe herself. <laughs> oh, my God. Shamisa, hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. It was good enough. You're not. You're not good enough for me. Like, at all. You're not. Like, if you compare, I gave you money, I paid your rent, I did your thumbnails. Emily, welcome very more beaters, recipes. I did whatever you want, wanted, mostly sexually. I let you humiliate me. I let you abuse me. I fucking, everything. What did, you know, like, <laughs> you can't compare him. Can you do a Sarah Jade impression? Sarah Jane, uh, Monty. So I want to like suck your balls. Did Natter legit what? Did Natter legit know Dee Dee's ex? They're liars. No, they didn't. In the audio, you hear her saying that they just met. So she saw all this shit and she was like, mm, an Arabic man. I know how to handle that. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. How many times do we have to tell her that Arabic is a language? Oh my God. It's been like, what now? 16 months? 16 months. This dipshit. She knows how to insult people, but she can't even get straight. A people from a language. 16 months now. Same correction. You fucking dipshit. Is that wig on too tight or something? You, <laughs> oh my God. She's touching the wig right now on this pause. It makes me definitely not want to unpause. <laughs> I hate this stream so much. Oh my God. Black Butterfly, thank you for the super chat, girl. He did claim Dee Dee. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. He did. <laughs> Kissed her on stream. Gave her that ring that uh, Chantal obviously paid for. <laughs> Lives with her for all these months. Goes out in public with her. Wow. <laughs> let me swoop right in. And the asshole dumb loser fuck let her. And, that, and now he's stuck with her. And I love it. I love the karma they're going through. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Hi, Nicole Ann. Which I think Natter did with you. Did what? Princess Cannibalist, thank you for the super chat. Everything bad, yeah. Six more pre recorded impressions of them. <laughs> what, Rach? But of who? Of Dee Dee and Natter? This is Natter. Oh, don't bite to nobody. <laughs> and then Dee Dee. <laughs> That's right, Natter. It's ridiculous. We just want our privacy. We just want our privacy, Natter. Mm -hmm. 
Go fuck shoo shoo, you bunch of sexual deviant losers. <laughs> Says the woman who fucked a homeless man for a whopper, but yeah, go off. <laughs> you know he would leave in a heartbeat if he found a girl with more money. Of course he would. Uh, of course he would. Uh, like, she's so dumb. She's so dumb. Just like I was dumb. No, she's worse dumb. Way She's like probably, I would say, 150 times worse dumb. She somebody who says somebody is worse like dumb is actually the most dumb. That wasn't even English, you fucking English major. That's in her cheering him on. <laughs> Did Didi sleep with Shushu and Natter? Probably. Hi, Vicky. Despectful piece of shrimp. As, as much as that sounds like I pulled it out of my ass to insult her, that actually was a thing. That is a thing. It happened. And then she was pissy because he didn't bring her zesty sauce. It's a thing. Or, I mean, it probably isn't a thing and it probably never happened, but it's a story she told us years ago anyway. <laughs> Deviants and not in a fun way. You do the breast impression and have the best comebacks. Wait, is it deviant. possible that she paid a homeless man to have sex with her a whopper? Suddenly the story makes a lot more sense. Hold on, I think I cracked it. So Chantal paid a homeless person with a whopper to have sex with her. I'm going with that story. Pretending not to like it. What? I don't know. <laughs> and bitch, you think you're going to impersonate me? You could never be me. You wish. You wish you were the woman I was, bitch. Because no we no woman is gonna stay with that loser. You're not a woman. You're a weak piece of crap. You give women a bad name, actually. Actually, it would make sense that you're really a man because you have size 13 feet. And not just that, actually, women do have size 13 feet, but you don't act like a woman because women are fierce, women are strong, and you're none of those things. Fine. With that logic, you are also not a woman because you are neither fierce nor strong. You are the Kool-Aid man because you are gigantic and full of shitty, sugary liquid that nobody really likes. Okay? Oh, yeah! That's you, you fucking Kool-Aid man. Cool it. Um, Vicky, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I don't know. I haven't checked my phone in a while. Yeah, you know what? Her fucking hideous ass red lipstick kind of matches the liquid in the Kool-Aid container, doesn't it? Kool-Aid man. <laughs> moved in on him. Mm -hmm. It's not transphobic. She legit just looks like a fucking man. And I'm sorry. Well, then I hope my comment wasn't picture phobic because you look like the fucking Kool-Aid man. Okay? Sorry, but... I'm not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Okay. You and Pete could go on an arcade bar. Mm. Hey, maybe that's a good idea. No, not today. Go for a walk. That's when I was convinced Dudu is. Didi acted like you were obsessed and desperate, but then in that leaked video audio, when he was with you, she was freaking out about him not being alone. Yeah. I know. She was like, all like, oh, she's dumb. She actually thinks he's going to be all in love with her over anyone else. Are you crazy? Like, what do you, what do you have to offer? Dee Dee, what have you got to offer? Hmm? Nothing. You're boring as shit. My God, the way she talks about him, like he's a real catch. She really thinks he's going to love her over everybody else. Like he just has like his whole pick of the planet of all the women because he is God's gift to us all. So he, he has his pick and he's going to love her over all of us <laughs> because she has more to offer. Yeah. She has more to offer. We went over this list a few minutes ago. She's got a job. She's consistent. She's got a mortgage. She's got a condo. She's got, you know, a mouth that doesn't take everything to the fucking internet and spew it. She has discretion. What more do you need? <laughs> Jealous. You've been watching since. Oh TV yeah, and she's able to, you know, get on top man. and actually move. He was a good man. There's that too. Dee Dee. 
I want to play board games on my live. <laughs> board games are fun. She doesn't identify as trans, so nothing is trans towards her exactly. Oh, bananas. I hope you had a great time. Hey guys, I'm going to be back later. Okay, I'm going to go for now and figure out what I'm doing. Cream your legs with Big Mac sauce. All I know is I'm going to go hang out with a real fucking man. No, I'm okay, Am. Uh, I talk to BB sometimes. He's okay. I miss BB being behind you on the couch. That was a boring life, too. I'm tired of it. Oh, cut. Get the hell out of here. BB behind her on the couch. That was a boring life, too. Girl, when has your life ever not been boring? BB was the best time in your life. I'm sure you cry about that sometimes at night and think back to the good old days and all that you've lost, but you know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. BB will forever be the one that got away. <laughs> cry, bitch. You called her a transpho for calling BB a man and then you did it. <laughs> Time for a drive. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, guys, once I figure out what the hell I'm doing with myself. So I just wanted to rant. Bye, guys. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love you guys. We have such a good time together. But sometimes she's just so deeply on my nerves. Today was one of those days. I'm in such a bad mood. And that fucking wig, I swear to God. Oh my, she has to sit on her hands or something. Do something to keep your hands away from that wig. Chantal, Chantal, it's too much. Yeah, Stephen Harper, she really is so draining. Don't you feel exhausted? We've been watching her for like two hours. Does anyone else feel like drained, exhausted? Like, I don't know, you ran or you did a shift at work or something. Oh, Oh my God. I need like a drink and some fresh air after her. She's a lot. Flirty Hershey, you're tired? Same. Say, oh, Camp Crackula my way. You need a drink? Sounds so good right now. <laughs> oh my God. Not gonna lie. Woo. Everybody breathe. <laughs> I'm taking a breath. Holy shit. So that was the deleted. <laughs> it was deleted for obvious reasons. She went all the way off on Dee Dee. She's talking shit about Koki, but it's still not in the way she should be. It's still so fucking like focused on Dee Dee for no reason at all. It's so stupid. Dee Dee is not your problem. Koki was your problem. Now, no one, none of them are your problem. You just can't step away. Hmm? You're such a psycho. You're watching him constantly. I'm sure your VIB idiot assholes are messaging you about like, oh, Chantal, did you see this? Oh, Chantal, did you see this? You got to stop. Stop. Just stop fucking watching. Let his channel fuck off. None, none of us like him. You're the only idiot who likes him. Let him go away. It's so boring. Every day the same thing. I love Crackhead Olympics. Listen, I lived for Crackhead Olympics while they were going on. This is no Olympics. This is a one-sided event. There's no, like, contenders there except for Chantal, you know? It's so boring. How long, how many months can she keep talking about these two? It's just, Chantal, it's done. It's time to start actually meeting someone new and not just inventing imaginary friends or playing charmoots. You need something else. You need someone else, a hobby, something. Get out of the fucking house. Take us around Ottawa. Show us something, something to take your mind off of this crackhead. You can't sit there with the fake wig the fake nails, pointing your fucking hideous sunglasses at us. This is crazy. Ranting at the people, ranting about uh, reaction channels, ranting about Dee Dee, when the only person you're actually mad at here is Koki. Take it out on him or go to fucking therapy. Change the record. It's enough now. It's over a year. For fuck's sake, Chantal, your channel is going to tank. It's pretty obvious. And even now, she talks so much shit right now about the reaction channels. If there was no reaction channels right now, I'm sure she went, like her views are already pretty garbage lately. Um, they would probably be half of what they are right now. 
she she's so lucky to have reaction channels and the clip channels and everything you know that swirls and Chantopolis. She needs to start acknowledging how fucking lucky she is because damn Chantal, it's certainly not on you and uh, the stories going on that there's momentum going to your channel. This is so fucking boring. Holy shit. Whew. Honestly, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't even be watching this stuff anymore. I really mean that. I, I can't imagine sitting here now and watching her alone. Watching what? The shit that we just watched all alone? Oh, I don't fucking think so. Uh, no fucking way. Impossible. Impossible. It's only because of you guys and the fun that we have in the chat and the interaction. And it's like, you're not watching alone. We always make it fun. When she's boring, we have her as like background noise. We talk about some other stuff. At this point, I swear to God, it's the only reason that I keep going. <laughs> I could never go back to watching her raw like you guys say. Not not through this. Not with no story. Not, no, no, no. Whoa. God. She was pointing her fucking sunglasses at us. I can't believe it. The way she was doing it. Oh, my God. Pete's, I'll say it one more time. Pete's, if you come running down one day and just yoink that wig right off of her head and, like, throw it off the balcony, you immediately go back upstairs, go live. I will super chat you whatever you want. You name your price, Pete's. Let's do it, okay? It needs to be done, and you're the only one who can do it, Pete's. God damn. Mary, queen of shots, thank you so much for the super chat. She was bald. <laughs> I love that. Uh, such such a good episode. My God. It's amazing, though, eh? Even George Costanza, you put that fucking wig on his head. The wig, the toupee on his head. He became like Chantal with the fucking wig on his head. Amazing. <laughs> the power of hair, I suppose. Mandy, thank you again for the Super Chat Girl. Grandma Spud, that was a lot. It was a lot. Oh, I'm exhausted. It's Thursday. But you know what? It doesn't matter, y'all. It's end of day. Well, okay, I should say in my in my time zone anyway, in my part of the globe. It is end of the day on Thursday. It is 9.37 p.m. We are mere hours away from Friday. There is one shift left for most of us. Oh, and the angels sing. <laughs> I am so fucking excited. Guys, oh. Thank you for being here tonight. Really appreciate it. We are caught up in Shantopolis. Love that for us. We've seen everything. We are not only caught up, we are caught up on the deleteds too. So that's a pat on the back for us as a group on a Thursday. Well done. We had a lot of good raging tonight and a lot of good laughs. And that's a great stream. But fuck all that noise. Tomorrow is Friday and that's what really matters. Hey! <laughs> Tomorrow morning, <clears throat> vet. I will be there at 9 a.m. I am not leaving that place without either the medicines that I need for my child, <laughs> dog, or an appointment in the next three days. It's happening one way or the other, or, <laughs> or I don't even want to say the alternative. I'm not going down for some vet's office. Listen. So that'll be early in the morning tomorrow. When I get home, evening time, around our, our usual get-together time, we will be having our, our Friday session, Okay. Um, this week has been a lot. I'm stressed the fuck out and so pissed tomorrow. Is, I'm having drinks. It is what it is. I very, very seldom drink tomorrow. It's drinks. It's going down. Uh, it's going to get rowdy on this Friday. It always does when there's drinks involved. We may have to dirty delete. Depends how far my mouth goes. I'm not denying myself anything tomorrow. We are going with the drinks and we are going with massive shit talk if we want to. So I'm just letting you know, it might have to be dirty deleted tomorrow. Mm. Anything goes on a Friday. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your night. Please be safe. Keep your masks on. Have a great Friday last shift. Hey! And I will meet you guys back here tomorrow for an epic end of the week Friday session with drinks or gelatos or, or none of the above. Whatever you like to do. If you like a fucking bottle of water, you get that fucking bottle of water on ice and ready to go. Okay? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.